YouTube channel and welcome to a Zara haul. This is the first of the first of many um, transitional autumn winter Zara hauls that I will probably be doing throughout the upcoming months. This order wasn't going to be a big order. I just was looking for an outfit for a specific event and I ended up picking up a few extra pieces and it turned into something that is now big enough for a haul. So I have a few more autumn pieces, a trench coat, blazer, and I have a number of dresses for this specific event that I am going to, but I'm sure it won't be long before there's another Zara haul that with lots of knitwear and coats and boots and all that sort of stuff, which I'm very, very excited for. But for now, but for now, I am keeping it fairly transitional. So these pieces you can still wear right now and you can probably wear them into autumn as well. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. I think we should start with the dresses. So the first dress I have here is a gorgeous, gorgeous evening dress, I think, anyway. Um, I had planned to wear this during the day because I hadn't realized how long it actually was, but I've just tried it on and it is literally to the floor, but it is this long sleeved black maxi dress and it's beautiful, it's a lovely shape, it's a really stretchy, comfortable material. It's got these gorgeous kind of almost slightly puffed shoulders um, and a really nice square neckline. It then has this kind of gathering um, just below the waist and it goes into a really nice sort of straight fit at the bottom. Um, and I had envisioned wearing this with some tan sandals and my basket bag, um, sort of to transition into the slightly cooler weather, but still feeling summery and wearing something lightweight. But looking at this now, I do feel like it's very much an evening dress. I would try and get away with wearing it during the day, but I just don't know if I can. It was really affordable, it was $29.99. I'm wearing it in a size small. It's so comfortable. I love this stretchy material. I've got something else in this kind of material as well. It doesn't look thin on. The dress looks like beautiful quality, but it's just such a comfy material to wear. I know I could go out for dinner in this and be super comfortable. So next up is another dress in a beautiful, beautiful green color. I have been loving green recently um, for the last few months, and I'm definitely going to continue that into autumn. I love the kind of darker forest green and also this tone as well I think is beautiful. Um, this is part of the new collection from Zara and it's this gorgeous gorgeous gathered midi dress. Now off it's a bit difficult to imagine how this would work um, but these are the long sleeves that you kind of put your arm into after it goes through the strap um, but once it's on I think it looks stunning. It looks beautiful. It doesn't look like it's from Zara. It looks far more expensive, I think, in my opinion. It was only $27.99, so really affordable. Um, I just thought it was so different. Uh, it's not like the normal kind of thing that I would go for for an evening dress or an event. I love the gathering around the waist. It's super flattering. The only thing that is slightly annoying is the elastic on the end of the sleeves is not tight enough, so it doesn't sit around my wrist. It kind of it kind of flops onto my hand, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful dress. I'm wearing it in a size small. Yes, a size small, and it fits really nicely. It's not too forgiving on the tummy area, so um, I'm not sure how comfortable it will be if I'm going to be eating a lot or drinking. Um, but it is a beautiful, beautiful dress and there are lots of things um, in Zara at the moment in this kind of beautiful stretchy material with the gathered detail. I saw a beautiful um, long sleeved with chocolate brown dress that I did consider but I just thought this is a little bit more me. Do let me know what you think. I'm not sure if the clip that I filmed really does it justice. Um, I feel like maybe it looks a little bit frumpy in that clip, but I think with some nice heels and a clutch bag, it's going to look really beautiful. It is something very different for me. Um, I wanted to sort of step out of my comfort zone a little bit with this um, specific event that I'm going to. I'm kind of using it as an opportunity to be a little bit more adventurous and try something that I wouldn't normally wear. Having said that, the next dress that I've got is definitely something that is very much my style. I feel very comfortable in it, um, but I just don't know if it's too boring. Um, so it's basically just a satin slip dress. This is definitely more of a maxi length. It goes all the way 
to um, my ankles, so it's really super long. But I just love the pattern of this. I thought it was beautiful. It's got obviously that green, which I love. Um, and then it's got this kind of cream pattern on it, which is beautiful. It's a really lovely shape. The only thing I don't love about it is the straps aren't elasticated. And I would have loved just a little bit more of like a lower back or a little bit more of like a cow neck at the front. Um, but it is a beautiful, beautiful dress. It looks stunning on. This I think is going to be a little bit more forgiving than the other green dress, um, just because it's not as tight around the tummy. It's a little bit looser. So maybe I'll feel more comfortable in it. I don't know. Um, but I sort of imagined this maybe with a black blazer over my shoulders and some black heels. Again, this was super affordable. It was $29.99 and I got this one in an extra small. I got it in an extra small because that was all they had. But I'm actually very glad that I did because I think a small just would have been far too big, um, especially with it not having adjustable straps. Um, it probably would have been too gaping around the front. So this fits perfectly. So maybe size down. Um, if you are considering getting this, but I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. The pattern is definitely what drew me to it. Um, like I said, I was thinking of pairing it with some black accessories just to kind of darken it down a little bit. You could definitely go lighter and do some kind of cream heels and a cream clutch bag as well. I also thought if I didn't wear this to the event that I keep going on about, um, I would definitely wear it on holiday. It's a beautiful kind of holiday dress, I think. So yeah, I really love this, but I'm undecided. Please let me know which dress you guys prefer in the comments. I do also have a fourth, but this one I've kind of already eliminated myself. Um, I got this because the colour drew me to it. Again, I thought it was a lovely kind of turquoise blue colour, but I didn't realise how kind of casual the fabric was. So it's kind of in this like seamless ribbed material that Zara do a lot of their pieces in. Um, it's got some cutouts on it at the front and then down the side, which I thought was quite a nice detail. It's a lovely dress, don't get me wrong, but I think it's more of a night out dress as opposed to something a bit more formal. Um, also, I don't love the length, it kind of cuts me off mid-calf, uh, but it was only 19 99 and I'm wearing an extra small to small. I had pictured this with my yellow heels. Now, I'm not sure if I envisioned that, or maybe on the website the model is wearing this with yellow heels, I think. I can't remember, um, but I just thought that would be like really out of my comfort zone and really bold. Um, but yeah, the dress just doesn't work. I do like it and I think it's available in some other colours if you guys do like it, but it's just not not right for me. Right, now onto some more autumn winter appropriate bits. I have my first piece of knitwear to show you and it is this gorgeous cream knitted vest. So I got this um, to pair with a pair of trousers, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but once it arrived, I actually realised how many ways I could wear this on its own, not paired with the matching trousers. It's beautiful quality, really nice loose armholes, which I love. Um, it's super oversized, so I definitely could have sized down to an extra small, um, but I got it in a small, um, so it's nice and loose. It's quite low at the front as well, um, so I would probably wear like a little bralette underneath it. It's super long, um, so it would look really cute, I thought, with some cycling shorts. Um, for when the weather's a bit warmer like right now but also i imagine this with some leather trousers and heels for an evening i think it's it's so gorgeous i wore it yesterday um and i've taken off the tag but i think it was around 29.99 and yeah it's absolutely gorgeous but these are the matching trousers that i got to wear with it they're not actually the same if you can see there you can see this this is definitely more of an open knit and these are more of a closed knit, which is fine. They still look quite good together, but it also obviously means I can wear these separately as well. They're nice and high-waisted, which is good. I was worried they weren't going to be high-waisted, but they are really, really comfortable. Uh, again, I'm wearing them in a size small. I've taken the tag off because I wore them yesterday, but I think they're around the same kind of price. 29.99 obviously everything will be linked below as always. They just go into this really nice kind of wide leg culotte almost um and and they're a really nice length they sit just above my ankle i was kind of worried about how they were going to fit um because i was worried they were going to be cropped but they're not they're a really nice kind of full length um, but they don't drag along the floor or anything i thought that this set would be really really good for traveling a nice airport outfit also lounging around the house but as i've said both of these can be worn separately. You could definitely just pair these trousers with a vest and some trainers for a casual look. I wore the set yesterday with um, 
my loafers and it look, I thought it looked really nice. And I can just tell I'm going to be living in these kind of trousers because they're just so comfy and easy to wear. Now, next up, I have another two-piece, but one of the items from the two-piece has not arrived yet. So um, I will talk you through the blazer and if the skirt comes, I will add it into the cutaway so you can see it on. Um, but yeah, I picked up this gorgeous, gorgeous white blazer. It's limited edition and it kept going in and out of stock for ages so I had to be really really on it. I was literally checking the Zara website pretty much every day to see if it came back in stock because I do not trust those email notifications. Sometimes they don't work and I miss out on things. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's kind of like almost a satin material. Really really gorgeous. Amazing quality, single breasted. It's a lovely size as well. I didn't size up, I just got my normal size size small. Um, and it fits really beautifully. It was expensive, it was $79.99, but that is kind of around what I'd normally pay for a blazer like this anyway. Um, I know it's white, so maybe you're thinking it's a bit summery, but I did think that I would get so much wear out of this. I thought it would look lovely with leather trousers, and the white blazer that I currently have is very, very old, and it's got a lot of like makeup stains and stuff on it that I can't get out, like around the collar, um, so I definitely needed a new one, um, that was nice and fresh and beautiful and clean <laughs> and this one is definitely that it's, i don't think this looks high street i think it looks a lot more expensive than that and it's such beautiful quality and the matching skirt to go with it is like a gorgeous um mini satin slip skirt and when it arrives i will obviously include it in the cutaway but i just thought the two together would look really cute you could definitely dress it down with like a vest top and maybe some smart trainers, but also with like a black bralette and black heels in the evening, I thought it'd make a lovely, lovely outfit. Also kind of Christmassy as well. I always feel like white is a very Christmassy color. I know I've said the C word already, but oops. <laughs> the set would also make a great outfit if you are um, a bride and you have like a bridal shower or a hem party or something like that coming up. It's a lovely kind of white set to wear and also would probably be really, really comfortable. So finally for the clothing items, I picked up a trench coat. Now I have one very, very similar to this from H&M that I got last year. And you may, oh, did I get it this year? I think I got it in the spring this year. Yeah, I think I did, yeah. Um, now you may remember if you watched my channel back then that when I got it, I was a bit unsure of it um, because of the fit. I find that H&M trench, trench coats are so wide at the bottom. Um, and I really deliberated with whether I could find a better fitting one or whether I should keep it. I ended up keeping it and I wore it quite a few times. And to be honest, it looked all right when it was on, I think. But I just felt like I was wearing like this tent every time I wore it, um, which was slightly annoying. I've still got it. So if anyone wants to buy it from me, it's a size extra small to small. Um, and I've only worn it a few times. But I saw this one on Zara and noticed it was a very, very similar color. And I just thought it might be a slightly better fit. It is definitely a better fit. I don't have that kind of tenting issue that I have with the H&M one, um, but it is a little bit shorter than I would like. I just prefer a slightly longer trench coat. I do have my gorgeous one from Topshop, um, my cream one, which I love and, and I know I will wear it every single spring and every single autumn. Um, but I'm just wondering if I should keep this one or if I should keep searching for the perfect trench coat. I'm not sure they exist. If you know of one, do let me know. Um, but yeah, I love this one and the fit is really, really nice, but I'm just a little concerned about the length. It's not a huge issue. I think it's just because all my other trench coats are quite long. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, I got this in a size small and it was $79.99. So quite a good price, I think, for a good quality trench coat. I love this material as well. It's almost kind of like waxy, like a proper trench material because it's water repellent as well. So it's so a really practical, an actual proper trench. But yeah, one of these is an absolute must for autumn. They're so handy. I literally wear a trench every day. I've also been introducing my trench coats into my wardrobe right now, even with like cycling shorts, just because it has been a little bit chilly here in the UK. Um, it's really really dark right now it said that this week was supposed to be nice and sunny and it's just not it's so dark in my room but i'm refusing to put the lights on at my watch is wrong what's the time i think it's like midday in august anyway finally i have a pair of shoes to show you and they came they came in the cutest little box look how sweet that is with a handle 
I don't know whether I'm just late to the game with this one or this is new, but I've never seen this before. I thought that was so sweet. Um, but yeah, I picked up a pair of heels, mainly um, to go with one of the dresses that I, whichever dress I decide to keep. Uh, but I really needed a new pair of black heels. Mine are just looking a bit scruffy. I wanted some that were comfy and flattering and I found these ones. I really love the square toe, just a simple strap a nice height on the heel as well like that looks like it's going to be quite comfortable and then they just tie up around the leg as well i'm not going to undo them i haven't tried them on or anything yet but you can see exactly what they look like on the foot on the website they just tie up the ankle there you go so they're a really nice shape and i just thought they would be um very very handy and if they're comfortable then that is a winner these were 49.99 so a little bit more expensive are they leather let's have a look yes they are leather that's why that's good this part also feels quite cushiony as well so hopefully they will be comfy but you just can't go wrong with a pair of black heels these are an absolute staple and they're going to look so good for evenings they just go with everything i don't think you can beat a leather trouser and a black strappy heel right that is it for my zara haul i really hope you guys enjoyed it do let me know in the comments what your favorite dress was what one you think i should wear if you did enjoy this video please give it a like there is plenty more autumn content coming very soon so i hope you're excited for it because i know i am thank you so much for watching and i will see you all very soon with another video bye